Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we will be solving the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 using the second method and we will be finding the root of this equation called to 4 decimal places. And in order to find the root of this equation, we will be solving it by setting function in the calculator. Setting By setting function in the calculator, we will be able to solve this uh, equation and make our process easier and quicker. So I have already, uh, I have already created I've already created a video on how you can solve your equation using false position method and bisection method which link you can find in the, in the description box below. So before jumping into the solution portion of this video, first I'd like to explain about second method. So what is, what is second method? So for our second method, we have uh, two initial approximations A and B. So let's say A and B are, A and B are our two initial approximations. Initial approximations then our first approximation x1 is simply given by a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a so as you can see here we have used the same formula to find our initial approximation in a false position method but the difference between second method and our false position method is as uh, for our second approximation x2 what we simply do is we set a equals to b and b equals to x1 so in false position method what we used to do is we uh, we used to look at the we used to put x1 in our fx and we used to look at the sign of fx we used to see the sign of our fx and seeing the sign of fx we used to replace either a or b either a or b by x1 and we need to and, and we used to continue this until we get our required root uh, required root or uh, required approximation x1 but what we do is we don't we do not see the sign of fx we don't care whether the sign of fx is positive or negative we simply set a equals to b and b equals to x1 so uh, so that uh, so we continue this until we get our required root x1 so for our x2 what we are going to do is our a is going to be replaced by b a is going to be replaced by b and our b is going to be replaced by x1 x1 and our a gets replaced by b fb b becomes x1 and fa becomes fb so we do this we simply do this we simply set a equals to b and b equals to x1 without seeing our sign of fx so that's the basic difference between second method and our false position method uh, so in order to know more about uh, first person method you can check the link in the description box below now for the solving process what we simply do is we here here we have here fx equals to x cube minus x minus 1 and our tolerance is given as from our question our tolerance is given as 4 decimal places so tolerance equals to 4 decimal so our tolerance simply is equal to 4 decimal places then our error e is given by 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus n which is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus for for n we write here 4 which is equal to 0 0.0005 so what does this mean is we need to carry our step on until and unless x n minus x n minus n is less than 0 0.0005 is less than or equal to 0 0.005 we need to continue our uh, approximations until we get this next we have our initial approximations so we are gonna let a equals to 1 and b equals to 2 such that f a equals to such that f a equals to f1 equals to uh, f1 so we simply put 1 over here so we get this as 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 and fb which is equal to f2 we'll be simply placing f2 in fx so we get 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 and this is equal to uh, minus 5 so now our initial approximation so now our uh, first approximation is So now for our first approximation, our first approximation x equals to a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a. So this is simply equal to a. We have a as 1 into f b is minus 5 minus our b is 2 into f a is minus 1 divided by uh, f b is um, f b is 5 not minus 5 fb is 5 sorry fb is 5 not minus 5 fb is 5 minus fa is minus 1 so you get uh, this as you get this as 1.166 
7 so for our further calculations we will be using a uh, tabular form so let me just write down this as further calculations are tabulated below so what you simply need to do is you need to create a uh, three uh, you need to create three columns so let me just create this roughly so in our first column we'll be writing our n second we'll be writing our a third we'll have b and fourth we'll have x so unlike our second uh, method we will not be uh, writing fx over here so in second method we used to write uh, fx and see the sign of fx and replace uh, a and b by x uh, seeing the uh, seeing the sign of fx but we won't be doing that so we have n as 1 we have a as 1 and b as 2 so our x is given by 1.1667 so as I explained before, uh, in our next step, what we need to do is we need to simply uh, replace a by b. So one becomes two, and b becomes b gets replaced by x. This becomes one point one six six seven. And we need to continue this until and unless we get x n minus x n minus one is less than zero point zero 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 five. So as I explained before, we won't be doing this. Uh, we uh, will be uh, doing this simply by setting function in our calculator. Uh, setting function in our calculator will help. Uh, will make our process easier and quicker. So in our calculator, what we need to firstly do is uh, turn on your calculator and click on shift and mode. Firstly, then in uh, then in number six we have fix. Click on number six. And we need to uh, fix our calculator to certain uh, decimals, and we need to fix it to four. Our our uh, our question uh, our questions asks us to find the solution correct to four decimal places. So we'll be simply setting to four. Click on four. Next, what we need to do is we need to set function to make this process easier. So by setting function, we'll be calculating x. So our formula for x is x equals to a f b minus b f a divided by f b minus f a so we need to set this function by assigning certain variable so we'll, we'll be assigning variable c c equals to a so uh, f b means f b means we need to set uh, b in the equation over here which is b cube minus b minus 1 minus b f a means setting a in this function f x so a cube minus a minus 1 divided by f b means uh, same b cube minus b minus 1 minus a cube minus a minus 1 so we need to do this in our calculator so click on alpha and click on c you can uh, you can assign any variable a b c d up to f x y anything uh, you want next we need to click on equals to don't click this equals to over here click on the equals to over here alpha calculate click over this next what you need is uh, put on this sign so firstly we need a uh, variable a to denote this a so i am putting variable a bracket f b so our f b means b cube minus b minus 1 so simply uh, do that over here uh, b cube minus b minus 1 close your bracket minus b times a cube minus a minus a cube minus a minus 1 go down and in, in your denominator we have f b minus f a which is equals to uh, b b cube minus b minus 1 minus a uh, a cube minus a minus 1 so next what you need to do is you need to click on calculate don't click on this equals to you'll be getting syntax error so click on this calculate so firstly uh, it asks me the value of a so my value of a is right now 1 so let me enter 1 next it asks me the value of b my value of b is 2 then I'll automatically get the value of my x which is 1.1667 so in next step what I need to do is I need to click on equals to one more time so right now I need now my value of a has changed uh, to 2 from 1 so I need to do the same in my calculator I'll be simply entering 2 click on enter uh, now my value of b has also changed to uh, change to 1.1667 so I'll be doing the same click on enter now I get my value of C as 1.2531 so let me write it, write it down over here 1.2531 so in my third step I uh, again repeat the same I uh, change my value of 2 by uh, B which is 1.1667 and my value of B gets replaced by X which is 
three one and I'll be entering this in my calculator so let me click on equals to one more time so now my value of a has changed to 1.1667 so let me enter that 1.1667 now my value of b has changed to 1.2531 so let me do that then i get my value of uh, cfx as 1.3372 1.3372 so as i explained before i need to uh, i need to do this until i get my x n minus x n minus 1 less than or equal to 0 0.0005 so simply i need to have my x3 minus x2 less than or equal to 0 0.00005 uh, so i go in my fourth step in my fourth step i'll do the same replace a by b 1.2531 and replace b by 1.2531 1.372 so go back to our calculator click equals to replace a by uh, replace in the in the place of a put the value of back one to our calculator and in the place of a now we'll put the value of 1.2531 and in b we'll be putting 1.3372 1.3372 then we'll get our fx as 1.3239 so for my fifth approximation again i put my uh, i put my value of 1.3372 place of here and 1.3239 over here put the value of b in a and put the value of x in b so let me do it one more time click calls to and in a i'll be placing 1.3372 and b i'll be placing 1.3239 1.3239 click on equals to uh, and then i get my x as 1.3247 1.3247 uh, sixth approximation I place 1.3239 for A and 1.3247 for B then uh, so let me continue this over here click on equals to 1.3239 for A and 1.3247 for B and then I get 1.3247 okay so 1.3247 so as you can see here x6 minus x5 equals to 1.3247 minus 1.3247 is equal to 0 0.0000 which is less than 0 0.0005 so then we got our required root therefore our required root is is x equals to 1.3247 so in our sixth approximation we get our uh, required uh, required root so in this way using the second method you can find your uh, you can find your required root and solve the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 correct to four decimal places so if you like the video do subscribe to the channel like our video and if you have any queries comment down below thank you